Welcome to Simply Be Found. My name is Rob. I'm one of the co-founders here at Simply Be Found, and I've been building software to help businesses market themselves since 2008 and owning agencies and really diving into being able to solve the problem where business owners can do their own marketing or their staff can simply and take all the complicatedness out of marketing. Today, we're going to walk through the platform. One big question I get is, how, what, what's the process like when I sign up? How, what is it like? We just got done doing one of our largest upgrades that we've done in the last four years. Um, so uh, today we're actually celebrating our fourth uh, birthday uh, for being up and running. So I wanted to come in, wanted to record this and say, we've been so happy to be able to help all of you, all of the members that were on um, this entire time and with us since the beginning. Uh, we're a small shop here. So we're located in Colorado. Dean and I started to started Simply Be Found to be able to give back to the business community and to be able to give a solution that was simple, straightforward, and that would aim to get the results you're looking for. So let's dive into the platform. I'm gonna talk about some of the new updates we have and also kind of tell you what the process is for getting started if you're a brand new member. Um, so I'm gonna kind of do this in two, uh, two phases and let's get started and make this quick and painless and just kind of go through it. Um, so if you haven't signed up yet, um, the sign up process is really easy. All you have to do is just fill out the form on our website at simplybefound.com. Go to pricing and pick the plan that's right for you. If you're buying, um, if you're buying a plan that uh, is uh, a paid plan, then you're gonna have to put your credit card down here. For the, this purpose is we're just going to go ahead and say next and sign up for our free plan that's on there right now. You're going to get the thank you page. What that's doing is it's setting all your account and everything up. Very first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your password. So this is just creating a password in here. That's how you're going to log into the platform. And actually, I just did the wrong. I didn't meet the requirements on there. It has to be um, one uppercase, one special character, all that stuff that now is required because everybody wants to be able to hack accounts and all that different stuff. So um, once you enter your password, you click add or create password. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do is up here at the top, licenses available. This means how many licenses you have available on your account. If you are on the free plan, you're gonna be at zero. Because um, you don't have any paid licenses, this is how many used licenses you have. To add your account, all you're going to do is click on Add. You're going to sign into your Google account. This needs to be the Google account that you um, that you use to be able to create your Google Business Profile. So once you sign into that account, um, again, that's Add Account. Once you sign into that account, uh, you'll be able to. Um, log into the account in there. Now, if you do not have a Google business profile, please contact us. Let us know that you don't have that Google business profile. If you're on a free plan, we can give you resources to be able to go and how to create your business profile. We'll look and see if you already have a business profile and what you need to do to claim that profile. If you are on a paid plan, we will help you and then we'll go actually go through the process of creating that account for you and getting you set up. Um, but if you don't have one, let us know. We'll help you to get through those steps and be able to take it to the next level. Let's go ahead and connect that account now. All right, once that account is created, you're going to get a list of, or once you uh, access that account and load that account, you're going to get this screen right here, which is going to have all of your different accounts on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our test accounts. I'm going to click view right here. All of those will be automatically assigned, by the way. Um, so when you're inside of there, these will automatically be assigned, uh, the free license. So if you have a license up here that's available, you can actually come in and you can say view and you can put a license or you can say assign license here to assign that license to that location. Um, that is part of that new process that we just added in. But once you're in here, the account's going to look like this. And like I said, this is our test accounts. This uh, is one we use for testing all of the time. You're going to have your local SEO score up here. So your local SEO score is what our algorithm thinks that your business is at. It's going to look at it. It's going to say, okay, I think that you're about this percentage. So instead of using reports and having really fancy stuff like that, we put it inside of one local SEO score that's constantly looking at your profile, deciding what, if you are doing all the things you need to do. It's what powers the to-do list. 
Um, that is how we handle it. I, I personally do not like the reports inside of Google or any of the networks that we work with because I think a lot of the numbers have a lot of bot traffic and I think that they are kind of BS numbers. Um, so to kind of keep this eye on this, you want this at least at 80% or above is going to be your goal. Um, make sure you come through, answer all the questions here. So like if you need to upload your logo, upload your logo into here. Um, follow the to-do list. Look at how many reviews you have. That This is going to be the stuff that is going to our platform, our algorithm thinks that is going to be the best use of your time to be able to log in. Our goal is for you to spend about five to ten minutes per day inside of the platform or about an hour a week to be able to get true results and really good results. So, and that doesn't matter if you're on the free plan or if you're on one of our paid plans, that's about what it ends up taking to be able to see those results into there. Now, all the networks here, this means that we have submitted the, your information out to those networks. Now, sometimes after we submit the information, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, sometimes it's submitting it several times, we send it out every night at midnight. Uh, what ends up happening from this is they end up sometimes they end up coming back and i've seen this happen even in three four months down the road where they go hey we need to confirm this account they want to send a postcard we have to get some numbers from you um sometimes they want to make a phone call to you sometimes they want to be able to do some kind of verification to be able to prove that you are you and you own that business um if this happens customer service will contact you one of the marketing coaches inside um, now to give you an idea like i said at the beginning of this video we are a small company so you have a two and five or a two and five chance of it being either Dean or myself. You have a one in five chance of it being me for being a marketing coach. Uh, we'll contact you and say, hey, this is what's going to happen. This is what needs to happen inside of here. So, and one thing to keep in mind, if you're not seeing yourself after 30 days on one of these networks, let us know. That means we need to contact them and start with that process and work it from the back end. Um, if you're not getting the results you're looking for from the platform, we need to know that you're not getting the results from the platform. If you don't communicate that to us, we don't know that something might not be working. And when we are doing this inside of this piece, we have to know that there's something wrong. So we can look at it and figure out what is wrong. It might be your category. It might be a lot of different pieces that could go to it. So make sure you're communicating with us. Make sure you're sending a message over to our marketing coaches and saying, hey, we, I have a problem. I'm not getting the results I'm looking for because our goal is for you to get your results. We want to earn your business every single month. Um, down here is going to be all those connected networks. Now, right now, you can see that Facebook and Instagram are not connected. To connect those, all you have to do is come over here to settings, go to integrations, click on connect Facebook, and once you connect on Facebook, you'll be able to connect it right into the platform. Um, that is basically the ins and outs of the basics of the platform. Following the to-do list in there, if you want to dive in deeper, all you have to do is click on posts. You can create a post. Most posts should be doing about three, most businesses should be posting three to five times per week. Um, if you are in a highly competitive area, if you're like in LA or something like that, you should be posting two times a day, seven days a week to get the results you're looking for. It depends on how much search volume there is, how much competition there is, and what your competition is doing. If you want us to go into that, and that's where it requires those paid plans up in the $80 plan or the 160 plan to be able to have the access to that marketing coach, we can look through and actually dive into analytics. We could dive into what your competition's doing, figure out what you have to do to be able to make it to that next level and be able to do it. And one thing I want to be able to note is if you are on a paid plan and you're either, if you're up on the premium plan, you need to contact us for getting your draft and uh, posts. You need to tell us, this is the goals we have. This is what we want to do. Schedule a consultation to be able to go through and talk about what it is your goals are so our coaches know what to do for you. Um, if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do that soon. Um, and you can do that. We're going to be putting a link for that on the website probably this week to be able to schedule a uh, coaching call. Um, and it will be in the platform at some point as well. So we're working on getting that stuff built out. Right now, send in a support ticket. We can send you a calendar link and uh, get you all set up. As far as, and it, when, after I release that out, and we'll probably still be on this video. If you see it on the, on the screen, you'll be able to uh, get that taken care of. With that being said, Inside of posts, posts are important. Posts go out to Google Business Profile. They're considered updates out there. They also go out to Facebook. So if you have Facebook connected, you'll see it here. You'll need to check which one you want to go to. 
Remember, post is like injecting information directly into Google. It's like taking information and putting it right into that search engine. So this is how the algorithms know what you have is as far as a business goes. It knows what you are, what you serve, what you sell, the issues that you solve. Make sure that you're getting detailed. You're allowed 1,500 characters inside of this post. You're allowed a photo. Uh, 1,500 characters usually ends up being about 250 to 350 words on average, I believe. Um, you can put a call to action to it inside of here. Make sure that you're doing this. This is one of the biggest things. I would say 70% of the businesses that come through our door have absolutely no idea that this even exists. They're not doing this. And if they do that, just this one step of doing posts into Google, they're going to see an increase in business. They're going to see an increase in phone calls. They're going to see an increase in sales. So this is a big piece here. Now, if you d dive down and come down to photos, this is where you could just simply upload photos into your platform. Events. So when you load these up, they go out to Google um, when you do it. So let's go ahead and go in here. You can send out to Google. You can schedule it. Um, that's one thing I didn't talk about inside of posts, I guess. So I'm going to go back up there real quick. Uh, when you are doing this, you can schedule your post. So once you, you have to enter all your information, uh, like Google... Do, do, do. So then you can actually schedule that out. The nice thing about that is you can stack things up and be able to schedule everything in one big swoop. So that way you're not bouncing around. Remember in the login, you can just go through and just post it in. So let me go ahead and do that. Events. This is if you're holding an event at your location. All you have to do is click on create event. You create the event, enter your information. This is if you have something going on, some kind of promo, something like that. Um, Offers and coupons. This is for you to be able to put offers and coupons out there. This injects it directly right into that search engine as well. It lets them know that, hey, guess what? I have this offer. I have this promo. Here's when it starts. Here's what it ends. Here's all the details. Um, same thing as doing a post. Everything is pretty much the same. You can schedule those as well. Um, questions and answers. Questions and answers are one of those things that everybody seems to not be doing or they're doing a lot of. Um, you can write your, your own question here. And then you can iterate your own answer as a business owner. A customer can also ask a question. So they can actually ask the question inside of your profile and be able to then wait for a response. Now, the kicker is anybody inside of Google can answer that. So if you're not answering your own questions and answers, it can actually really hurt you. It can come back and really bite you in the butt because if you're not answering those things, somebody else is and you don't know if that's what you're coming competitors you don't know who's answered it might be a customer that was not happy or whatever it might be that might be inside of that case so make sure that you are doing that piece make sure you are answering those questions make sure that you are also answering as the owner make sure you're generating questions make sure these are detailed bring up all the different pieces you can bring up the different areas you serve bring up as much information as you possibly can all right reviews our review system is pretty detailed. Um, we pull reviews in. So if you're on the premium plan, we're pulling reviews in from over 50 plus networks. If you have reviews on there, we're monitoring that. Um, if you are on any of our other plans um, that have reviews, you're going to have access to Google. So you'll see all of your reviews here. If you haven't responded yet, you'll be able to click uh, respond to review on this side. It'll pull it up, let you respond to that review directly from the platform. Uh, one thing I absolutely love, let me get my little window that you probably can't see out of the way, is we have a whole entire review generation system. So this review generation system actually lets you put a QR code. You can put that at your front desk, you can put it on your receipts, you can put it on all your different stuff, ask it for reviews. And also it has it to where you can put it to where they can leave a review on any network. So when you're looking at doing reviews, you want to make sure that you are asking for more than just Google. You want to ask for reviews on Google. You want to ask for reviews on uh, Facebook. You want to then switch out different networks. I recommend doing three networks. Do the Better Business Bureau for a little bit. Do uh, Yelp if you want to do Yelp. You can put any link in there. You can have it on your website. You can do whatever you want to do inside of here. You're in complete control. You could build that all the way out. Um, I think we have a video on this as well. If we do, I'm going to toss it up inside of the um, inside of the top for you to be able to go view or put it in the comments or whatever. Um, leads. Leads is our version of a very simple um, CRM. And 
Why is leads not working? Okay. I need to fix that piece. Uh, with doing all those updates that we have, we have a couple of minor little things that are happening. So if you are catching bugs inside of our system, always tell us that it's there so we know that we have something to fix. If you don't tell us, we might not know it's there. So leads is basically a way for you to create a form to go onto your website. So when you create that form, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say test, I'm gonna say test, say next. You can actually come in here and then add your field. So I'm gonna do name, address, phone number, done. And I'm gonna say next. So it'll create this form right here, so then you can submit the form. You could actually toss that onto your website. And once someone actually fills out that form or you do it in here, you can click on view leads. You can create bucket. It's in here. You'll be able to create a lead. So you can come in here, you can actually create it, add a new entry. You could say, Bob, Bob at Bob.com, submit form. So this is a way that we've made it to where, to where businesses that have leads and need to be able to manage stuff, they can come in and actually manage it and then they can move it between each of these buckets. Um, let's see if it's actually gonna work or not. Like I said, I'm inside of a test account. I hate when things don't work inside of here, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just, so it'll come here, you can move it between. I'll test that, make sure it's still working. If you guys have any problems with it, let me know. Uh, business information. Business information is important to check. Make sure you have all your information that you possibly can in here. Make sure you upload your logo. Make sure your company name's right. Make sure you have a description, your business address, your phone number, um, your website address. Make sure you put in your social media links. The social media links right here, this is what builds your profile up and tells all the search engines, hey, this profile's mine. It means that they're gonna go in, they're gonna look at those profiles, they're gonna be able to start building it. This really helps with voice search as well because we're gonna submit all that data over to all the different networks when you're on that pay plan. So when you go out to those, uh, <clears throat> when you go out to those 300 plus networks, this is a great way to be able to get out there and see it and be able to actually do something with it. So it's gonna take that and say, here's my links. This is not how you connect Facebook. Make sure you're doing that. Uh, review profile links, I would leave that alone. Uh, marketing agency for all your categories, make sure you select your category and your secondary categories. You can actually drag your categories around inside of here. Put them in the order of, order of importance because this is gonna matter to the algorithm. Um, make sure you put any attributes that you have in here, down here. Um, your next thing is your business hours. Make sure your business hours match. You can do special hours. So if you're closed on Christmas or New Year's, you could have uh, put it into the platform and say, hey, I'm closed on these dates. Um, the other piece is service area. Service area is a kick butt function. So this is especially good for like uh, anybody who has a home-based business that is hiding their address. You can choose your service area and say, hey, this is where I serve. This is the areas I take care of. This is what I, the places that I'm able to go. Um, even if you have a brick and mortar location, you can still do that inside of here and expand out from your brick and mortar. This is the major stuff. If you ever need to be able to manage your billing, you can kind of billing. But this is just a general platform overview. I hope you found it um, valuable to be able to watch and kind of see what upgrades we've done, see what we've done inside of here, and to be able to give yourself, yourself a jump start. Remember, you want to do your posts every day. You want to make sure all of your information is correct. You want to make sure you do your questions and answers and make sure you generate reviews. Our entire piece is to be able to submit out your business information to as many places if you're on a paid plan and to be able to take your business to that next level. My name is Rob, I'm one of the co-founders here and from the bottom of my heart I want to say thank you for being a member of Simply Be Found. You have no idea how much it means to us. Make sure you like, subscribe to us on YouTube and we look forward to working with you and uh, getting you all the way started. Thanks.